The single greatest predictor of divorce is contempt. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what contempt is, how you can get rid of contempt in your heart and how to stop it with your woman. Because if you have contempt and you allow this to happen in your relationship, be sure that this is one of those things that if you ignore reality, you will not be able to ignore the consequences of said reality and it will destroy your life, destroy your family, destroy your financial future. Better watch what I'm talking about here and you're better watch all these steps because if you miss one of them, it's gonna fuck up your life. So. Off we go. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betray the Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. So contempt is when you've made your mind up about somebody and you they have no chance of redeeming themselves. You'll, you'll start acting negatively towards the person. You'll start being hostile towards them. You'll be like, well, they're gonna fuck it up anyway. They're gonna mess up anyway. Ah, they can't do this. They can't do anything right. And so you get this virus within you or your partner gets this virus within her and it comes out and like, negative remarks and negative comments. And what ends up happening is holding this. It's like holding a grudge forever against your partner. And because of this, the partner feels that they feel this hostility and they feel like they can do no right. They can feel like they're always gonna fail with you. And then it makes them walk on eggshells. Now, somebody who's a skilled manipulator will use this to their advantage, but you as a good person will ensure that you root all of this out in your behavior. This is why it's so key to really watch how you speak to your partner. The energy that's coming up, the energy that's coming out and flowing towards your partner is what makes this so powerful. It makes this because they're feeling exactly what's going on within you, not necessarily the words that are coming out of your mouth. And I can't tell you the number of guys that have sat in this training room and the key to saving their marriage was just the way that they were speaking to her. Yeah, the words, he's like, yeah, I was telling her I was going to the store. But he wasn't telling her he was going to the store. He's like, yeah, I told her. He would be like, you got to go to the store. It was like he would talk to her in this way that was belittling her and just talking down to her. And he, had no re he had no idea he was doing this because of so many years of resentment, it went on autopilot. This autopilot behavior was just coming out. And as I started watching, I was like reading his text messages, hearing his voice when he's talking to his wife on the phone. I was like, dude, what the fuck? This is how you talk to her and he didn't even notice it. And so this has happened many times here in this room where I can see exactly what's going on and then he makes that pivot and that makes a world of difference. And it can be something so simple like that that could save your marriage, especially if you're dealing with this concept of contempt. So to get into a little bit more detail about what the signs of contempt are, one is like eye rolling, right? Whenever you say something, your wife rolls her eyes at you, or you roll your eyes at her, or you give a sarcastic remark that's not necessarily meant to be funny, or you make a kind of a joke that has a little bit of a truth behind it. So it's got a little bit of a poke, a little bit of stab, you know what I mean? You know the kind of, you know what I'm talking about. That kind of joke that's not really a joke, but then you play it off, it's like, oh, I'm just joking. It's just a joke. It's like, no, that's, you're just being a dick. And so in these cases, these kind of contempts, or you could be name calling, or you could have this little nitpicking, belittling behavior, this back and forth, back and forth with your wife. All of this stuff shows that there are signs of content in your relationship. And so if you're feeling this way, the most of the time people aren't willing to check in with themselves, to check into how they're feeling and in this place of where they're feeling, where it's coming from and actually address the root cause by actually going and saying, hey, you know, when you said this thing, this is what's going on within me and I would really not like to have this happening. He does not willing to check in and be vulnerable in his expression of what he actually wants. He wants to just like start nitpicking or nitpicking. Like the more that he knocks her down, the more hopefully he's gonna feel better about himself. Maybe she'll get the hand or she'll figure it out. And then this whole thing, again, it creeps into a relationship. Most people don't realize this stuff's happening, but if you can watch it, if you watch your behavior, you watch your intentions and how you're speaking at a, at, and from moment to moment, and you feel where that originates when you're emotionally within your body, then you're gonna see the original place that it's coming from, and then you can address that, and then the way you behave and speak coming through starts to change. And I guarantee you, the way that you speak to your wife, or if you enforce, if your wife is speaking to you this way, and you start enforcing some boundaries on what it is and it is an acceptable way to communicate with you, is gonna make a world of difference in the way that you relate to your partner. They say that communication is like key, but I find that the more important thing is understanding what's going on within you and enforcing that. All right, so a little bit of recap on how to address contempt. One, notice where it is. Just notice that it's happening. Notice how it feels in your body. And then once you've noticed where it feels in your body, look at the root of it, like what's driving this? What kind of behavior, what kind of story that you're telling yourself about this person is driving this feeling? If you can find out that story that's driving this feeling, then you can change the feeling by either letting it go, releasing that kind of contempt, or by doing some sort of releasing work and really addressing the thing. Or you communicate it to your partner and say, hey, I've got this kind of resentment or contempt 
that I'm starting to build for you, and I don't like that. And I want to tell you about this so that I can like, at least get this off. Maybe we can have a discussion about this and get this resolved. For a lot of relationships, the reason that contempt comes in is because nobody is even listening to each other. Like if the wife will tell the husband something many times in her fashion, but he's just not hearing it. He just can't hear it. And so what ends up happening, he just keeps operating in the way that he's operating. And so over time, she just starts belittling and getting mad at him and calling him names, rolling her eyes, because she's like, he doesn't care anyway. So fuck him. And this is how she expresses it. And so for you, if you're on the receiving end of this, you have to put a stop to that. You have to say, hey, I'm not going to put up with this kind of contempt behavior, which will then force the issue of why it then originated to begin with. And then if it's coming from you, you have to notice it and then stop that shit. You've got to release that because I guarantee you, your woman is going to change the way she operates drastically by the energy you bring. Remember, as the man, you lead by default, even if you don't think you are. You were always leading somehow in the relationship. By abdicating the throne, you were telling her that she has the throne. That is a leadership decision. You've told her what to do by your lack of action. And so by you going in and deciding, this is what I want to do and this is how I'm going to operate, as the example, as a champion, as the exemplar of your family, you then can lead your family into that place that you want them to go. And they will. They will start following in line naturally as a result of your leadership. Contempt is the biggest predictor in divorce. It really is like one of these things that if it just keeps let festering, it'll just completely unravel a relationship because the other person is always throwing this toxic stuff at the, at, at the other one and it just keeps creating this animosity between the two of them. And instead of just stopping and making a, a hard stand of like, we gotta resolve this and I'm not gonna allow this relationship to move forward until this is resolved, this nitpicking just unravels a relationship. They think that they can out nitpick each other. They think they're kicking out sarcastic remark each other and that they'll just get it. And then instead of actually addressing the problem, it just gets swept under the rug. And then the next day you wake up refreshed, hoping that things have changed and they don't. And you go back into this whole thing. It's just the first comment from the first thing in the morning just turns it into this fucking war. You have to root this out ruthlessly in your relationship. Do not allow contemptuous or any kind of belittling remarks, eye rolling, or anything like that happen in your relationship. If it happens, you must put an end to it immediately. Because that kind of contempt will just snowball and you'll just, you, won't be, you won't be together for very long. If you like more ways on how to resolve relationship conflict, check out this video. And if you like this one, hit like and subscribe if you wanna see more. And I love you, brother, and I'll see you in the next one.